Yo, you're a big cube. For you. Looks, uh, shrink you down. Why, hello. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. All right, we are here today with a very special banger. It's Superliminal. Now, why is this special, you're asking? Well, in case you haven't heard of Superliminal before, maybe somewhere a very long time ago you heard or saw the game Museum of Simulation Technology in Action. That is what this game used to be called. It looked very promising, very awesome. It kind of honestly blew my mind when I saw it because the game is all about perspective puzzling. Um, I would say compared to something like Portal, where Portal is just so freaking creative, there's also a voice throughout the entire game, kind of like GLaDOS, Gladys, you know, however you pronounce it yourself, and just kind of letting you know, hey, everything is fine, even though you know there's something going on that's not fine. So, I'm excited about checking this out. If you guys enjoyed all the information in the description down below, are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. Alright, so you know what? Maybe it's just me. If you disagree or not, let me know. That kind of came off as a bit of uh, maybe tongue-in-cheek Scientology bid. You know, I live in SoCal, so I'm familiar with the advertising and the lingo, and they kind of had a bit of a Scientology feel to me. But you saw how there was like hidden messages in there, like the sad face, and there was like a quick help. So, what the hell is this, W? I haven't played this before, in case you're wondering. I wanted to come in here without an idea what to do. W. Oh. I thought this was like a loading screen. <laughs> perspective. Get used to it. Yeah, this game's all about perspective. I thought this was a loading screen or something. Alright, so we're in our first room over here. Terms of service. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and... I was hoping we could probably read that. <laughs> I mean, who reads the term of service? I know. Music's gone, too. We had that awesome elevator menu music going on. Perception is reality grab. So check this out. You know, small little dude down here, right? But if we go over there, and we let it go, suddenly... Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Alright. And we'll just go ahead and just call that our GLaDOS, GLaDOS, whatever you want to go with here. So, that's going to be our door right over there. So we got to figure out a way to get up there. I mean, technically speaking, we should just be able to jump on this, right? Now, it's too big. No, we could clear this jump, alright. Got alarms, too. No objects beyond this point at all times. But what happens if I try it? Are right, you distorting reality now, which is kind of terrifying. Can I... Oh, well, I can't go through. Can I... Got really small. Alright. No items means no items. So, let's see here. Ah, uh, we gotta obviously step on you to get through. See, uh, we have a bit of an issue here, huh? I can reach that. <laughs> Look, there's a small little guy who can hold down the entire switch. It's all good, man. Don't even ask questions. I think there's bigger stuff in our plate to worry about. Now we gotta get up through there. Alright, so you know what? You return to me. I guess we just gotta make you... Big again. Too far. Let's get really close. About us and... A bit bigger now. Ow! Okay. We have found out that the blocks falling on you don't kill you. That's kind of good. Maybe it does when they're bigger. Who knows? We got another chest piece. We got the pond this time. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. 
I do not care. So hold right click to rotate. Right. Oh, I get ya. I see what you're trying to teach me. So, because it's at a slope, you know. Delicious piece of cheese here, by the way. We do that. Okay, yeah, but you're, you're too far from me, so as we know, we gotta have you fairly close. And then, do something like that even, it's fine. Okay, is that is that good enough for us to make this jump? During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. It's an interesting name for the program too, in eyelids, right? Well, no use in thinking what that means because, uh... Yo, you're a big cube. For you. Looks, uh, shrink you down. Why, hello. Well, we got... Alright, is this where it starts to get kind of weird or what? Okay, first and foremost, what's this? Okay, so you're probably switched to open this up, but suddenly we have a... Uh, hmm. It's kind of weird because this was set up in such a way, like, you gotta use this to get through, but they also kind of... Like, I'm not sure if I'm talking in terms of the developer now or... In the game's lore, right? Like, in order... If you're... If, this is real, right? If we want to open that door, we have to use that block to get through, right? So in the game, if I was the character here, you would always see this after you would move the block, right? Of course, there's boarded up, but as you can remove the boards, why wouldn't you go through? Alright, well, we gotta take this path now. We have Dream Soda. Alright. And the music now is obviously missing from over here, too. Warning. You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. The tetra what? Uh, water soda? Sure. Hey. Alright, well can we do something with this? Yes. No! <laughs> Alright, well, I was hoping that maybe we could use this to... I'm not sure if you could get up there, but I'm willing to give it a try. Maybe we need a couple more sodas or something. I don't know, give me a diet. Okay, it, it's... Apparently it's done giving me dream sodas. Now we could place you right... on the switch. Alright, so that's gonna be intriguing. Curious, oh. Oddly enough, you could also shrink this as well, huh? It's everything. Can you make it through? No. <laughs> you got so teeny tiny, though. Alright, we got broken windows now. Like, someone had enough. They were like, you know what? I'm done playing this game. Hmm. I can't interact with this. But, as you can see, this is probably what was covering over here to get this block. I was hoping we could pick this up and, like, maybe set it up in a, as a bit of a ramp or something. But, no can do. Yeah, so somebody just was like, you know, I had enough of this, they broke the window, broke that one, and got through that way. There's a switch over there, oddly enough. It's the only switch I'm seeing, so, in a way, I mean, I guess we gotta... Did we have to? I guess, like, technically, or at least whoever did this had to kind of cheat the system? I can't move this event either now. Yeah, Alright, so... Gotta get you over there first, right? So we do that. Make it small enough so that it falls through. Okay. Now it's super tiny. We should be able to just do that. And there it is. Okay. Intriguing. I mean, that's the only other way I guess you get through this door otherwise. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Well, that's good. It's an incentive to actually fill out the survey, sure. You gotta offer gift cards. The possibility of one anyway, you're not guaranteed one even if you fill it out. You never win those. I mean, I've never won one. <laughs> that's why I've given up on surveys for life. Okay, so we got you over here. Now, here's another thing I just realized, too. I mean, we can't get through that, obviously. But this is what we gotta hit up, hit up so... I'm thinking over. 
Here's the other thing I just realized, too. Well, Falcon, what if somebody didn't actually break the window and it was just broken? In order to... In order for you to actually solve the puzzle that way. That's true. I mean, you don't, you don't know... We don't know the type of game we're playing here, the deck we're playing with, anyway. Oh, you know what? Go back, go back, and then... <laughs> Smart. Yeah, so it could have been broken for the purpose of the experiment. They wanted you to do that. Maybe they wanted you to see the door as well. That's the entire premise. I'm like a freaking guinea pig over here. Hold up a second. People beyond this point with objects will be fined. People without items beyond this point will be fine. Clever girl. Obviously, I'm gonna go through there, but hey, why listen? What happens if I go through? Excuse me? Oh, we're, we're looping. We're looping, I got you. So... You are oddly tilted, which means we could grab you. <laughs> okay. So, big boy now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're not reflect. Are you reflecting or are you in another room? Like, normally it's been another room, you could always see in there, but that would be a door out. But then, there's a reflection over there that technically should be that. Make it big enough so that it lands maybe on top of both the switches? Right. That's gonna... Okay. Kinda there, but we need a tad more size. There you go! Oh! Oh! Almost fell on me. Did we get- Oh, we got both of them! Sweet! Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Oh, you see it, right? That's the final doorway? It's a brick wall! See, now it's getting all crazy, because you, you haven't even finished up the freaking walls here. Exit's over there. Okay. Cheese boy. Oh! Oh! You were supposed to use it to knock that back over. Okay. See, now, now we're getting more physics involved, like... Okay. Well, we, we got this. That says exit. I guess we have to knock the other ones down, we could just technically go around, huh? I mean, do they all lead to the same place, though? Highly... Unlikely? But no, it seems that it does. See, that says exit, but it just leads to over here. Right? Yeah. Allegedly the real exit coming up now. How legit is this? Well, ah, ah, oh! Jeez Louise! Just when you thought, like, you know, you were out, they pull you back in again. It's like turning into the Stanley Parable now. Clock in for work? Or what the hell's happening? Dream soda. It's you again. Hold up, can we still... So we must still be in the freaking dream, we can still m make things change size and perspective. How to start it. I must feel like this is like a retelling of how we wound up there. We were probably just wearing, working some sort of menial day-to-day -day job that we hated. We saw the ad and we're like, hey, well that seems like a very good idea, why not go in and hang out with the Scientology people? All right, I just gave us a save right now. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. This is super liminal. So far, I absolutely love it. But if you want to see some more, let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a thumbs up. If there's enough interest, we'll definitely come back and check it out some more. I will catch you next time, or maybe I won't. It's all a matter of perspective.